Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and I have, and I'm bagging. But guess what? I already recorded it. I was so excited. I had amazing reactions to everything that was in my package. <sighs> I was just getting ready to edit videos and found there was no audio. The thing that makes me extra mad about that is I had checked. I swear I checked. I'm actually watching the little thing. It is moving now and I just did a test recording. So I have seen all of this already. You don't get the initial reaction, which is really a bummer. So I will do my best to give you a good reaction to what I already know is in the bag. Um, in fact, I've already started on my project. <sighs> so my package came from Wanda, who I believe is called Grandma Wanda. I am going to, of course, tag her and link her below so that you guys can check her out. Uh, of course, I also will tag Lori, the armchair chef, and I'm going to put my playlist here of all of the mystery yarn challenges I participated in. So let's get started. Um, I'll tell you right now so I don't forget, one of the things that was in the bag was a bag of chocolates, little Valentine's chocolates. Um, I ate mine, my share. I shared them with my kids. I ate my share. They're actually pretty good. Um, I was surprised because usually like holiday candies, I don't really like them very well, but I actually like those. Um, but one of my kids hadn't eaten his, so I um, said, I need to borrow these. So one of the things was a bag of candies. It was quite yummy. Um, it is a bag. That's what I have here. So let's talk about the yarns. There are two of these gray yarns. Here's the other yarn brand because that's the yarn I've already used. I'll show you. I'll give you a little hint. It's a thing. <laughs> yep. That's all you get to know about it. So these yarns, these gray yarns, are Lion Brand Limited Edition, 3.5 ounces, which is 100 grams, or one, 186 yards, which is 170 meters. It is 100% acrylic. It is a four weight. Um, and the color is called grays. So there were two of these. And so, and I'm sorry, let me turn this back down. I had to turn it down last time because it kind of blows out the, the color a little bit. And then hopefully I can fix it in editing. Anyway, so there are two gray yarns. And then this one here, green. I will kind of tell you some of my reaction. First of all, I love green yarn. Um, some greens are better than others. But I was really excited about this because one of the things that I'm making is I have here a slipper that I designed for my daughter. I need to finish the other one. And I had made, let's see if I can find it too. I had made the eyeball to go on it. And before we put the other things, it was just the white ball. And so she stuck it on the end and she's like, oh my gosh, Tinkerbell, you can make Tinkerbell slippers. So when I saw this green yarn, I was like, I can make Tinkerbell slippers. So I don't want to use very much of this. And in my project plan, I will use some of this, but I will have plenty to make scissor slippers. So I'm really excited about it. I'm going to make Tinkerbell slippers. So um, there's that. This one here. I was so excited about so so excited about so this is shawl in a ball oh I forgot to read hold on I go back I'll come back to shawl in a ball this is the women's Institute Premi premium acrylic yarn 100 grams exclusive to hobby craft and then it says a minimum of 3p is that pounds from the sale of this item will be given to the National Federation of Women's Institute. Um, and it says it's the largest women's organization in the UK. 
it says how many members um, and then it has a little bit of information right here about it this is the color shade color is green and it's a hundred or it's 250 meters it's 100 percent acrylic so this came from the UK okay and it's fairly soft for an acrylic. It's not the softest, but it is fairly nice. Okay, back to the shawl and the ball. So shawl and the ball comes from Lion Brand. And this is OM Opal, which I figured out means ombre. Um, it's got the lighter colors and goes into the darker colors. So this is ombre um, opal. And um what else here it's 5.3 ounces or 150 grams 481 yards or 440 meters 61 percent cotton 34 percent acrylic and five percent other now the other is going to be the little sparkly things and i don't know if you can even if i can even get away to show you that yes, there's sparkle. I just don't even know. And I don't know if I come up here. I guess if I come up close, even though it goes blurry, you can see there's sparkles, right? And the really cool thing about these sparkles is there's pink, there's blue, there's gold, and possibly even silver, but it might just be the blue, but it kind of reads silver. No, it's silver. There's silver. So silver, gold, blue, and pink sparkles. Um, some of the thread... Well, it's just like a gray and white thread, but it kind of actually takes on a little bit of the colors from when the sparkle's over it. So that's kind of fun. I really like it. Um, and I have kind of been in yarn envy of a shawl and a ball. I hear people talk about it and I'm like, I want to make a shawl and a ball. So um, I have come up with an idea that won't take very much of this yarn to use for my project so that I can use the rest of it to actually make a shawl because I am really excited about that idea. Um, it will be very lovely. And considering, okay, oh, this says that it's a four weight and I don't know. I don't know how you can say that those are both, oops, sorry. How can you say that those are both four weight? Like seriously, like even when you say, like I think, is this called a roving? I don't remember. So it's got a little bit of texture to the yarn. And even with that, I'm just like, mm, no. Maybe if you're really lucky, you could get away with calling it a lightweight three. But I, I, I don't buy that. But it says it's a four. I'm like, mm -mm, I don't think so. That's okay. It's okay. I'm excited about it. Um, and then this last one. Here is, there's bits down here I'll talk about in a second. This is cupcake yarn. This is a three weight. And yes, I would agree with that. And I still say this is much thicker than that one. Um, this is 100% acrylic. There is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams. 590 yards, 540 meters. Um, and there's a thing that says the colors that are in it pretty much um, and look at that green just this says St. Patrick's Day so it's got some greens and then golds now I think actually all of it is here I haven't weighed it to know for sure but here in the start this part that came out of the middle little yarn vomit barf whatever you want to call it if you're in the Australia, you're going to call it vomit. Um, if you're here, you're probably going to call it barf. Anyway, um, there's this little thing that got started with the, the thing, little stitch mark to hold it together. I don't even know if she realized that she had started a project and sent it on. It doesn't matter because guess what? I'm going to take off the stitch marker. I'm going to reclaim this. It's going to be great. Um, and whether the whole thing's there or not does not matter. Um, a part of this project is like sending whatever you want. 
scraps. Hopefully at least big enough scraps to do something with, but yeah, so those are the yarns that I have to work with. I am going to grab the pitcher of them all together, probably. Well, I could try it. I, I think I can try it. Oh no, my little bolly thingy flew away. Okay, so um, got the yarns. These yarns. Put them in my arm like a baby doll. And got the green. And got the that sparkly and then let's see I will pull up this and you can see them all yay there Lori can get her actually I'm not gonna I'm gonna send a picture to her I mean if she really needs to come back and screen capture or whatever she can but I'm gonna send her a picture I usually do which is why she got confused one time. She's like, I don't find Michelle's picture. Yeah, that's because that was the month I had to pull out. Um, another thing that was in here was a book. The pink book says good vibes. On the inside, it says MYC124. Michelle, hope you can make some magic with this yarn. God bless Wanda. And then the pages are just blank with the green border and it's pretty fun. Um, I might start sketching some ideas. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, having a good thing is like that is always fun. Okay. And then there's like the little goodies. Like I said, we already ate the chocolate. Most of us. There's these rings. There's four of these. This one looks like it might have like broke, but that's okay because it can be glued or left like that. I don't know. There's four of these rings, and then there was this uh, package that um, she just put stuff in with the original thing that was in here. So one of the things here is this thing of, if they're not quite beads, they're little sparkly texture things. Um, they're they remind me of when you have like the toys that you, with the liquid and the glittery stuff in and you push it back and forth and stuff like that. My daughter has a journal that you can push and it moves the glitter and the objects back and forth on it. And that's what it reminds me. So now I actually want to find out how to make it because there's this. And when my daughter was looking at things, I figured out what these kind can be. So there's these things there. Okay, there are these little plastic food thingies. There's, there's like a little croissant, I don't know. Let's say I did that for the background. Anyway, it's a little croissant with like, um, it's pink with sparkles, like sprinkles. Um, there is the most adorable sunny side up I don't know if you if I can if I can zoom in on the thing my zoom I don't have auto zoom I found out that's why I have so much problems um, but if I can zoom in I will show you the cute little face on this I uh, just went flying across the room um, if not maybe I can take some pictures there's these like cookie looking ones there's two purple and a pink of these cookie looking things this cookie looking one is yellow, but it's got a little brown heart on it. There is a fish. There is a hot dog. There is um, like an Oreo type cookie. And this one says biscuit. It reminded me of something so of course, these are all, to me, they're cookies, right? Because I live in America. Um, but in, like, England, they would be biscuits, um, the sweet things. And I remember watching this movie, and I told the story before, so I'm going to tell it again. Um, you guys wouldn't hear me tell me the first time because I didn't have audio. So the story was, or I was watching a movie, and the guy was supposed to be a prince from Europe. You know, how the Hallmark-type movies go. And, um, 
he went to this place that was like an old diner type thing and asked what they had on the menu for breakfast and they said that their daily special was biscuit and gravies and the look that he pulled like that facial expression was hilarious and it's because in his mind he's thinking cookies and gravy and that sounds nasty I think it's funny so what I was thinking was she, when I was showing my daughter she was holding these little food things while I was holding this and that's when it clicked because I'd already figured that these could make one of those I have no clue how to make them but I'm gonna find out how you make your own because with these and then all of these and together you have little things that push around inside so I was really excited about that I have to remember to get the sunny side up eggs that's the other thing remember the movie um, the princess diaries and how that reporter from England or wherever, whatever European place is, may your day be sunny side up or something like that. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. Ah! So next thing in this box, um, this has some wooden buttons and stitch markers in it. The buttons have words on them. I didn't notice that the first time. So the buttons have words around and it says handmade with love. So the wooden buttons have words. That's pretty cool. I'm going to save these for last. <laughs> so this actually originally was a darn good yarn DIY pom-pom kit. And so here's the instructions on how to make the pom-pom. Here is the thread needle and the little snap things that you need to make pom-poms. And um, then here is one of the circle fur things. So you'd put the snap on and like sew it in. So it pulls that all up and it's a little pom pom. My, both of my daughters, my one daughter was like, okay, whatever, until I went like this. And she was like, oh, it's so cute. And the other daughter was just like soft. And that was, you know. So both of them are like it and I'm like this one here though this one is gorgeous and I don't know that we can get the coloring it's a little darker than this but this color it's like a Bordeaux purpley reddish color I'm in love with this color I have to figure out how to make me a hat that would go well with this color because I am in love with this color so I have 100% claim on that. Probably make the other pom-pom for my daughter, my older daughter. So the other thing that was here were these. Now, mm -hmm. remember I mentioned the green and the slippers? So originally I pulled out the green and I was like, oh my gosh, green slippers. Oh, I could make pom-pom slippers. I could make Tinkerbell slippers. And so I was like, I would just need white yarn, like make a little puff ball. I was thinking I could either make the circles like the eyeball thing, or I could make the other things. But after my one daughter originally had done that with the um, eye and called it a Tinkerbell slipper, I was thinking about it. I was like, well, you could do yarn ones. I could find the fur and make little fur ones. I could make um, balls, like yarn balls. Um, so I was thinking about it and I was like, or you could buy those store-bought pom-pom things that are already made. And so I got a couple and I just kind of, it was like, it was seriously like magic for me. Somebody had heard my thoughts, knew that I thought, wanted to make Tinkerbell slippers and sent me green yarn and pom-poms because they heard and they saw it. So I'm going to make green slippers, put the little pom-pom on the end. And oh my gosh, it's going to be Tinkerbell slippers. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. I can't. I, I, I was just, I was I, so blown away. I'm like, seriously? Seriously? I got green yarn. I got the pom pom things. Like, could it have been any better? Like, it is perfect. And we weighed the slipper. We weighed, um, the yarn to make sure there really is a full skein and it there's plenty um the slipper was made for my daughter so it's actually a little big for me 
or my other daughters. So wh whichever one of the three of us I made Tinkerbell slippers for, it would fit all of us with plenty of yarn to spare. So um, I'm going to be able to use it for the project with what I have been planned and make Tinkerbell slippers. <laughs> I am so excited. So I already know three projects for sure from this yarn because for sure I am making my mystery yarn project which I now know mostly what it is um already started as you saw I'm making Tinkerbell slippers and I am going to make a shawl with the shawl in the ball because I have always wanted a shawl in the ball I am so excited that's it. I just, I have a whole bunch I get to cut out because I kind of went into a space you guys don't need to hear about. Um, I have needed to talk about it. The first time I talked about it, I kind of cried. The second time I talked about it, I was like partway through it and I was like, I don't need to say this anymore. Um, so I'm glad that I got to record it twice and, and then I get to delete it. Um, because it helped me clear the air for myself. It was just about an experience that I had, not as a receiver, but as a giver of yarn in the past. And so that's in the past now, it's over with and we can move on. And, oh, my gray thing's so far away. <sighs> uh, this was pretty fun. I'm excited about the thing. I wish you guys could have seen the original unboxing or unbagging as it is. Um, you could have had my original reactions to it. I'm really excited about my project. I'm really excited to be participating. I'm super grateful. Thank you, Wanda, for everything that you've given me. I am so excited. I am so, so, so excited. I'm like, I keep looking at this going, can we start this now? Can we start this now, please? No, Michelle. No, Michelle, you cannot start this now. Number one. You have to make your little bit that goes with the other thing first. It has to go mystery yarn challenge first. Number two, you have 40 billion projects going. You don't need another one right this minute. Okay. Um, so I'm excited. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.